Hi, welcome to AWAR Scene, March 2024 news and announcements. We will be looking at figures open for pre order. I use the Big Bang Toys store website as my reference for the price and the release date. And at the end of this video, I will also be officially announcing the Gun Primus giveaway winners. All right, let's start with the pre-orders. First up, we have a Sinobu noodle stopper, as well as a canal perching figures. One looking peaceful, one looking ready to attack. For Five and Star, we have an Opera 9 with his blade drawn, as well as a Saname. There's also a Giyomi announced as well, but no visual shown so far. Move on to some Jujutsu Kaisen. We have a figurism from Sega of Megumi, as well as one of Torji as well. That was such an epic fight in anime, the sequel did have price figures for these two. And this love the rabbit effect capture here. From Conqueror Book here, we have one eighth scale of Ghetto. It's actually a deluxe version as well. Man, what a huge difference. I feel like we're not jib with the uh, standard version. So there's a bit of a price difference between the two. With the deluxe and you at $201.99. It's exclusive to the Crunchy Wall store. There's also a figurism of Ghetto as well. This will pair up well with the figurism of Gojo. Alright, uh, onto some Lutos. We have Barbarian Star of Pain and Conan. So happy to have this pair and I'm quite surprised. There's also Jiraiya figure colorism as well. Man, I bet I've seen the figures of this guy, so super happy there's a price figure for him. There's also a fifth Hokage that's already been announced. There's a Naruto Grandesta adult form, quite a few of those, and a Naruto Gem from Mega House. You can wear a stylist, but I find Gem tend to be quite small. Alright, a whole bunch of uh, pop up parades. They also have Zeke. Are you thinking what I'm thinking of this? Reminds me think of. <laughs> oh man. This is a pop-up parade L, so it's quite large. And happy that the pop-up parade Titan range is growing. We will have the Colossus Titan, as well as the Attack Titan and the Armor Titan. There's also a sp special celebration of the anime finish with them holding bees. There's a new pop-up parade of Anya in her outing outfit, which I think looks much better than the one that we received so far. And there's been some card cutters killer pop-up parades. We're assuming there have been scales and the price figures haven't been that great. So we have one of Sakura and her best friend Tomoyo. And surprisingly, there's been a Kirby pop-up parade and Kirby from the Forgotten Land. Zoom Kirby! <laughs> and it had a little fits in the back as well. But this is amazing. <laughs> I never thought they'd make a pop-up parade of this one. Well, I haven't seen much of the anime. There's also a Eskono pop-up parade from Seven Deadly Sins as well as Merlin. So this completes the whole set with the addition of Elizabeth. So eight characters for pop-up parade. I think this is one of the largest pop-up parade sets. So cool to have them all together. It'll be interesting to see them all with the hexagon based together. In the bizarre truth, there are some JoJo pop-up parade. I have one of Joe Tower and Dio. I'm sure you all seen the meme. <laughs> so there you go. Looking really incredible. Check out those outfits. It may be looking very huge. And that wraps up the figures I've been for pre-order for March 2024. Onto the gun primer giveaway of the Glacier Collector Set. First up, thanks so much to Gun Prime for providing the items for the giveaway as well as the shipping. There were 12 entries in total, so thanks so much for all those who participated. This means there were two winners in total. Alright, draw more please. The first winner is Slash Master. Congratulations! There was a second winner, but they had to withdraw due to difficulties for shipping. For the withdraw winner is Zero Zero Stardust. Congratulations to both of you again. And hopefully you have received these items. Once again, thank you to all of who have participated. Maybe I'll do another giveaway at 6,000 subs milestone. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.